Hello everyone, this is Amar Kumar Ram. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to use our published data transfer library in a new project. So let's create the project. To create the new project, we'll run the command ng new and I'll give the project name as consume lib. So we'll consume the library in this project. So I have given this name. You can give any name you like. Now I'll press enter. I do not require any Angular routing configuration here in this project. So I'll press in and I'll select SCSS as a style sheet form. So consume lib project has been created. Now we'll run this project over browser. To run the project, first we need to go inside the project itself that is consume lib and run the command ng s stands for server hyphen o which will open this project consume lib over the browser directly. As we can see the project is running fine over 4200 port and the message is displaying like consume lib app is running. Now we'll open the developer tool and go to the console tab. Currently we are not seeing any message logged in the console. So let's install our published package that is data transfer package in this project consume lib. To install the package first of all we need to stop the server and run the command npm i i stands for install and we can recall from the previous video what was the command to install the message transfer package which was npm i message hyphen transfer and let's press enter. As we can see message transfer package has been installed with the version 0.0.1 which is our latest version published over npm artifactory. Now we'll go inside source folder, app folder and app.component.ts file. Here we'll create a constructor and we'll inject the service. Service variable name I am giving as message transfer service. And we can have a type of the service class which is data transfer service. If you are not able to recall, let me show you inside the lib app, then the projects, then the data transfer, we have source folder and in public.api.ts file, we are exporting data transfer service, which is inside lib folder and this is data transfer service file and the class name of it is data transfer service. So we have done the same inside the consume lib as we can see in app component.ts file. So we have injected this service coming from this message transfer package inside this app.component.ts ts file let's close other files now inside this constructor i'll use the variable that is message transfer service and with the help of this reference variable we can use the method of this service class the method name is log message we can pass any message for example i can say hello everyone and save the file. Now what will happen when we will start the server? As soon as we will start the server, it will come to the app.component.ts file and run the constructor. Inside the constructor, we have a call to log message method which is a part of data transfer service class and this service class is coming from message transfer package published over npm artifactory. Now let's start the server and see if this message hello everyone is getting passed to this method log message inside this package which will actually log this message in the browser console. So let's start the server. To start the server, we'll try ngs and press enter. As we can see, we are getting a log that is this is from library and the message that we have passed to the library, hello everyone. So we have successfully created a library published over npm artifact and also used the same package in an another Angular project known as consume lib. This is it for this video. I'll add further videos in this playlist if required. But if you have found this playlist useful, then do share with your friends and colleagues. Also, if you are new to my channel, then do subscribe and press the bell icon to not miss any future notification from this channel. Let's meet in the next video. Till that, be happy. Take care. Signing off.